Hi guys, it's Chetz, and today I want to talk about Linux, Bluetooth, audio, and the problem that it doesn't connect the audio automatically with the Bluetooth. And uh, at the moment I have a soundbar from LG, it's SL4, it's a crappy soundbar, but I still want to use it with this machine. And the problem is that when I boot my Fedora, and it ha also happened to me with Ubuntu, the machine boots and the Bluetooth service comes up, but it doesn't connect to do the soundbar. It also doesn't connect to my Sony headset, uh, the XM3. And I thought about how to fix it uh, with a simple script as a workaround. So let me show you what I've done and you could uh, do it the same if you have the same problem. So first thing is that we'll need to look at the Bluetooth. I'm using KD Plasma, the latest one. I think it's 5.27 if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I'm looking at the Bluetooth and uh, this is my device. Um, I just called it soundbar, but uh, basically by default it will give the name that the device gives you, which means in this case LG SL4. So I just change it to soundbar. Now the important part is this, this address. We'll need it to connect it through a script. Now the first step that you'll need to do is manually pair it. So if you have devices, you can simply use the Bluetooth system to pair them manually. You'll see the device when you scan, uh, you click pair, and after a few seconds it pairs and it creates a trust between the device and the Bluetooth system. Once we have it, we'll go to the next step. So as we can see, we have this address, we'll need to use it. So we'll create a simple script. I've already created it. Let me show you. As you can see, it's uh, only three line script. The first is the shebang with the bash. We'll need it. Sleep free. That means sleep free seconds. Uh, the reason is that with this soundbar, uh, it won't work um, immediately when the Bluetooth device comes up, the service comes up. Uh, you'll need a few seconds until you can basically pair it. So I've uh, added sleep free seconds and the uh, most important command is the Bluetooth CTL and uh, let me see which, uh, which package you, you'll need for that. Yeah, it's called Blues. I think also in uh, Ubuntu is the same name but different version. So you'll need the Blues command and we'll just simply type Bluetooth CTL connect and the address that we have it from here. We'll also need to make the script executable. So let's, as you can see, I've added too much in terms of uh, permissions, but basically just make it executable as root it should be okay. Um, next thing is how do we make it automatically start this script? We can start this script uh, in uh, Ubuntu, in uh, Gnome, or in KDE with the auto start, but the big problem is that we need this script to start after the Bluetooth service has been started, not before, or else it will simply fail. So, there is a simple trick. We do sudo systemctl edit dash dash full Bluetooth service. It will open a text editor. I don't know why Nano Fedora decided to put Nano instead of Vim, but okay, I can use that. And we'll need to add this line exec start post equal to the path of the script. Now remember, the script needs to be executable or else it won't work. 
Once this, uh, we added this line, we'll need to update the system D, so it will reflect it. So all we have to do is sudo systemctl daemon reload, and that's it. Once we'll start, I cannot restart it right now because I'm using OBS, which uses the, the Bluetooth devices, etc. But if we have been uh, running the script right now, it will stop all the Bluetooth devices, restart the service, and then it will start the script. And after three seconds, you should see around here uh, your device name. And then you could see it in the audio here in the devices. Uh, for example, here in this case, it's called Hi-Fi. And you could use this one and start using the audio as always. Now, one thing that you might uh, want to add, and I don't remember exactly the name, Freewald, I think. Yeah, this one. This Pulse Audio Modules Bluetooth will add the commercial profiles of Bluetooth audio, such as SBC, and there are a few others uh, that have low latency. And if your device supports this low latency, uh, your, your Linux system, uh, you can use it when you're uh, configuring audio. For example, let's go to the audio here, and let's go to advanced. And as you can see here, my soundbar is using SBC. So if you want to use it, you can just install this. I'm pretty sure that Ubuntu has something similar, different name, but in Fedora 33, you'll need to add the free world repository and this package restart, and you should have it. That's it for now. Hope you like this short tips clip, and if you like it, I'll be happy to hear from you in the comments. Uh, maybe I should add a few more tips. Hope uh, you can click like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.